Grandmaster Facts, and this is another Party Nerds exclusive. So with Oscar season basically upon us, we are hip with the question of asking ourselves, is Robert Downey Jr.'s portrayal as Iron Man warranted enough for him to win an Oscar for Best Actor in Avengers Endgame? But the thing is, correlated, people have to look at this. Are we basically giving him this award as far as the longevity of the portrayal of Tony Stark as Iron Man? Because a lot of people seem to perceive it as that. Like we're just like basically like giving him an award for the long run of him being Iron Man. Not for the singular event that is Avengers Endgame. Now no, dude has done a phenomenal job as Tony Stark. I, I don't believe that anybody else could have portrayed the role as a billionaire philanthropist and categorized it to the amount of level and acting chops that is basically taken for him to be Tony Stark. But the thing is, what we have to look at, necessarily, it was entertaining. Do I believe it was the best acting job? Probably, probably not. Am I sure that a lot of other movies that are basically out there throughout the universe for 2019 have done a better job? Yes. I'm not here to bring up the competition between Marvel and DC and say that Joaquin Phoenix's portrayal as Joker is better than Tony Stark's portrayal as Iron Man. But the thing is, we have to look at it from that aspect. That's exactly what they look for. They're not looking for the fact that, okay, from point A to point B, did Tony Stark do the best acting job in 2019? He wins the award. I say no. Now, if you want to take, for instance, the fact that we're going to create the award of the fact that there's longevity in this, in this whole thing, and the fact that he's played Iron Man for the past 10 years kind of like amounts to something that he needs an award. Shit, you can go back to D23 and just look at the fact that he put his hands in some cement and now he's basically left like Ch man's Chinese theater, his handprints are over at Disney for the rest of his life. But if I wanted to give a character inspiration for the fact of somebody that's played the role and needs an award for what he has done, then I would have gone as far as Hugh Jackman. And even in that set sense of him playing Wolverine, let's look back at Logan. If we look back at Logan, it's basically kind of like the same thing that's going on. So, he's grown to an age where he does not give a damn. And a group of people tell him that he needs to fight one more time. Sounds like Wolverine. Sounds like Iron Man. And then, for instance, he has to have one last fight with an ultimate evil in order, in order to preserve the rest of the heroes that are throughout, throughout the universe so that they can continue on and he, for some unforeseen reason, perishes. Sounds like the same damn movie to me. Two different actors, kind of with the same plot line, portraying somewhat of the same character. And at the end of the day, you could say Hugh Jackman should have won a few years ago. So... Does he deserve it? Mm, not for this movie. He might have deserved it for Infinity War. And he didn't even get nominated. Do I feel as though he deserves to get nominated? Yes. Do I feel as though he deserves to win? No. But well, let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to us at the Party Nerds YouTube page. Hit me up, Grandmaster Facts, F-A-Q-S, on IG and Twitter. And stay tuned for more developments. Party nerds go.